Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Poke One. I'm Jay Gottams, and we are back at Cinnabar Island. Well, not say back, but we never left. But you guys are back with me, being back here, from which we never left. So we returned without ever leaving in the first place. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Uh, so yes, here we are. We uh, last left off. Uh, actually, I guess we did technically leave the island to go to see Blaine over at the Sea Foams. Okay, so scratch all that. I was correct the first time. Uh, but yeah, we got our Volcano Badge, the seventh badge, last episode. And now we have one final badge to go, and that is going to be up in Viridian City, where the gym was locked. I don't know if we actually visited that gym, though, when, when we first played through earlier. Uh, so yeah, we do have a couple other things to do before we make that happen. We did drop off a fossil here a day or two ago, so want to come back and check on it and see what that turns into so you know see, left the spot open for that and we also have a quick quest to go to Celadon City so I think we're gonna do that as well so let's talk to stone here and see if our uh, fossil is ready take your kabuto and it is ready nice okay thought there were gonna be more hubbub some sound or sparklies or something but no okay and there is our kabuto so we can make a kaboot tops eventually. It's got swift swim and he's jolly. So I think that's not bad. We give us more speed. I don't think we're a special attacker, more of a physical attacker. So that's kind of cool. It gives us one more Pokemon in our Pokedex. Nice and quick like. Cool. So we'll drop him off. Grab another Pokemon to take his stead. And then we'll head on over to Celadon before we make our way to uh, Viridian Gym. But there are some trainers that we can kill still, so we'll probably come back here, now that I think on it. So we can level up as much as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop him off wherever. Got there. Let's go over and bring out our guys. So do we want to Magnazone or Alakazam? That is a tough decision right now. Magnazone is pretty beefy. So we can let Alakazam try to level up because he's the weaker of the two. We have Venusaur. We're going to be in the water. Actually, no, let's get Magnezone because we are going to be in the water right now. So, just in case Venusaur can't handle it all, but I'm pretty sure he can. But we'll have it, just in case. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of flying. So, first to Celadon City. There we are with our lovely, lovely Murkrow. One of these days, we're going to be able to evolve you, Murkrow. One of these days. It, and it'll be a glorious day. I think, actually, hold on. I think this is going to be... Okay, descend. There's no way to, like, just fly straight down. So you have to, like, loop around. Okay. Here's Celadon City. Okay. So let's land. So there's a receptionist. Where's the, re the receptionist? Oh, it might be to that... Um, that hotel or whatever that we weren't able to go to. I think it's over here, right? Uh, maybe this? Could be this. Let's see what this says. Attention, bench is freshly painted. Okay, I don't know if this is the place. It might be... No, actually, it might be up now that I think on it. Let's see what's going on here, just in case there's good stuff that we can do now. This is a very big TV. Oh, okay. No, we're not worried about that man's TV. Okay, actually, no, it's probably up near um, the, the like uh, center and department store and stuff. Or it could be that. What's this? It could be anything, actually. Let's just go indoors and find out. Ah, uh, here we go. Perfect. Receptionist Martha. Oh, I wonder if we can get in there. Yes, please. The missing hotel data. Darn, I hoped it would be lost forever. Now we have to do our tax income for the past five years. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> Sorry about that. We got a full restore. Ooh, and we leveled up from it. Loot box, full store, Poke Dollars. Okay. Okay. So they're full up. I don't know if they'll ever let us uh, <laughs> actually rent here. That's a really random quest. It's like, okay, now, it's like you bring us here for a reason. Like, is there something else that we can do? 
doesn't seem like it, but we did level up and get an item. So that's fine. So let's go ahead and... Oh, we have one in four minutes, so we'll open those together. Uh, Alright, so... That's done. What next? Now let us fly back down. There are a couple places that we need um, to actually... Like, here's a bike path. Actually, since we are right here, I just want to take a gander. There are two paths that we haven't dealt with at all. I don't know if we're going to just... Uh, do it off uh, off camera, like if it's kind of just boring kills now that we're so high level, or if there's interesting Pokemon along the way, and then thus we will make episodes out of it. But let's go in here and be like, remember there was a Snorlax here and we couldn't get past. That Snorlax is gone. Now let's see. Let's see what's going on with this path. I'm assuming it's going to be like some bike riders and some bird trainers. That would be my guess. Yep, oh, they look at Biker already. Oh, Biker, that means we need uh, <laughs> Alakazam. Enjoy riding. Let's check upstairs first. There could be a professor here to give us some good stuff. Here's Ed. What you got for us, Ed? Hello, Drake Adams. Remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you've caught 40 different... Yeah, I've done that. Have you caught at least 40 species? Yes, I have. Great, you have caught 83. Oh, nice. Take this and keep catching. Is it a rare candy? Ah, uh, PP up. Okay. So, of course... Well, I guess that means well, we don't have to go ahead and fight everyone. We can come back here and level up Alakazam. On a different episode. But we'll do one and maybe Gengar can get a level up. Because he knows some psychic moves. Riders on the route. You better duck and cover. I'm curious to see what kind of level they are. Yeah, Grimer's level 29, so yeah, we are pretty beyond them. But this will be a way to get a little bit of money and uh, get Alakazam leveled up even more. Like, we're never really worried about getting uh, Gengar leveled up. He's just so solid all the way around as far as uh, damaging types. Oh, nice, yeah, we leveled up to 45. Trainers, I hate these guys. Okay. And let's check uh, the route, see if there's anything cool here. Oh, no, there's like n no wild Pokemon. Okay. So, okay, good to know. So we can come back there. And we're actually just fly right over it and go straight to Viridian City. But we want to get some more experience points. And there's this route that we haven't dealt with yet. It looks like a lot sh shorter than the route to get to Cinnabar Island that, that we took, so shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Let's hop on the bike there. And I know there's actually still more to do on this uh, island, like there was a cave or something, like the volcano that we couldn't go inside. So um, maybe we'll do the Elite Four. Oh, that's probably where we get the Moltres. If I was a betting man, I would say that's where Moltres is. Okay. Now we're back on... Oh, whoa, that's actually a pretty large tentacle. For the wild. See if there's anything... Okay, there is something here. Oh, okay. It's probably just the evolved form of Chin Chao. What is that? Lantern? What is that? Lantern? Anything up here? Nope. Get out of the way. Move it. Okay, let's put Venusaur. Oh man. Okay, let's go ahead and put Venusaur up. Is it just there and back again? You almost made it around the whole of Kanto. That we did. It's been a nice journey as well, I must say. I must admit. Yeah, look at this guy. When we first started out, he was just a small little thing. Small little monster with a twig or a little spore on his back. Now, oh, now we got a big old tree almost. What? Me? Why? Yeah, we molly. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like seeing that. That goes a couple dudes with flowers on our backs. Okay. Well, that was really short. 
think there might be more. I think there's one other side. But yeah, I guess we'll only get in one or two fights. What's up, dude? Hang loose. <laughs> Officer Wave. Hey, hang loose, bruh. <laughs> guys from Point Break. There is one, there was a swimming thing that we have to do. There's like a lot of random items that we have to get to. I don't know if we'll make an episode of trying to get each one of those things. That could be interesting. Like trying to find all the secret items. So I remember saying, what, what? We failed to run away. Oh yeah, we are kind of big, aren't we? All right, we'll go ahead and kill him. I mean, we did come here to get Venusaur some level up. What's up, Jack? Wanna, wanna join a battle? Interesting way to say it. Oh, a Starmie. Cool looking Starmie as well. So he takes this, uh... I use Recover. We haven't hit you yet, brother. But now we hit you there, brother. That went very quickly. Alright, we're good. So Venusaur's at level 43 now. Got a Fisherman over there. Oh. Excuse me, let's get out of the water. Click these things, you never know. And nothing there? Alright, let's deal with Claude. Fishing, fighting, whatever you like. Alright, shell. Oh, didn't swap out our guy. Uh, let's go ahead and end up with the Dark Pulse. Ah, nice, one shot. He's level 31. And, okay, Cloyster. Whoa, okay. Uh, let's go with the Venusaur. And hope that he doesn't use the Ice Move. Let's hope, hope, hope he doesn't use the Ice Move. Toxic Spikes. Perfect. Excellent. Yes, excellent. <laughs> and a Razor Leaf. Ooh, it's not going to knock him down. He used Toxic Spike again. I'm not going to lie. He had... Trainers in the Kanto region aren't the smartest of breeds. They still have a long way to go in tightening their skills. Definitely gonna say that. We got some decent money there. Right. Oh, let's uh, okay, no, yeah, Gengar's cool for now, in case we get into a fight. Level 34 tentacool. You're probably fast, huh? You're gonna try to trap our Venusaur, weren't you? Are you prepared for battle? I stay ready, ain't gotta get ready. Ain't that right, guys? Here we go. Let's go ahead and. I feel like the Sea Kings are a little beefier, so we'll go ahead and throw our heavier hit with the energy ball. For the final four, we may want to uh, get the, the Giga Drain. We'll see like uh, if they added any sort of cut re requirements on the road to the Elite Four. Here's another Sea King. Sea King is kind of a cool looking Pokemon though. It's pretty intimidating. As far as water Pokemon go, I don't know. You always frighten me a bit. Okay. Easy work, easy work. Lost? How? Why? What? Calm down, calm down. Oh, look at this a fellow Venusaur, bro. It's kind of cool to see. Alright. Back to Gengar. <laughs> Jerome is in the house. I said Jerome's in the ho uh, 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 house. Come back, Jerome. Okay, cool. We got Venusaur there. Hey, trainer. Did you know that Jerome is in the house? Jerome is in the house. Ooh, ah, ooh, house. There we go. This is Venusaur's time to shine. Ooh, that's kind of cool. War Turtle. Kind of feel bad for him. He's going to have to deal with this energy ball. Oh, he protected. Oh, man. Okay, well done, well done. We'll just use our Razor Leaf then. 
Is it going to one-shot? Oh, it is. Even on a sturdier Pokemon like Wartortle. Congrats! Thank you. It's very sweet of you. Oh, almost got out of there. Very, very sweet of you. We're actually going to have to fight him because we're not running away from this tentacle. Oh, Poison Jab? That's not going to do much. That's not going to do much. There we go. And then we finish him off with a cut. Might as well use our the opportunities we have to use cut to get kills. Save our grass attacks. Okay, there's a little island dude there. Fisherman. Ooh, cool. It's actually worked. Oh, the Stardust. We can sell that. Is there someone on that island? Okay. Let's go to Gengar. Let's run. We're actually going to have to level up our Murkrow eventually. We'll keep getting these guys their type advantage. Maybe we'll start off fights with Murkrow in the next gym. Okay. Oh, this is going to be easy picking. Easy picking for our UFO. Look at those things. Mm, da, 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 da. Oh, look, someone's selling some nice Dratinis for cheap. I wonder what, what, what cheap is. I wouldn't mind buying some blue Dratinis. Some, some good IV Dratinis. Not the nature that you want, though. Neutral, okay. Yeah, so probably not, he's probably selling all the ones that don't have good natures. Ooh, we got a Suicune, though. Whoa. That looks awesome. Suicune and Raikou, so they must have been on the other island. They come here to show it in our faces and taunt and show off. We're going to keep our eyes on what's for sale, if there's any good steals, any good Pokemon to purchase. If only I could win a battle as easy as, as I can catch fish. Okay. That was easy for us. We didn't get much XP for that though, considering how many mons there were. Oh, actually, look, we have our items. Almost forgot about them. Let's go ahead and click these. 20 Poke Gold. Not too exciting, but Poke Gold is always useful. And what do we got here? Lure Ball and 40 Poke Ball. Okay. We'll take it. We'll stack that up. All day, every day. <laughs> All day, every day. Alright. Now we're going to get across the water here and deal with this fisherman over here. So there's more fishermen and not as many swimmers on this route. And more little islands, which is kind of cool. It lets you get a cover some distance without having to actually deal with some encounters. But there's always going to be encounters that we have to deal with. That's a given. Okay. All right, Magnezone, you're up again. Come on, show me what you got. Put him up. Put him up. Oh, this is going to be our first time using Discharge. Super effective. It does hit the whole area, but seeing that it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, we don't have to worry about damaging our own team. Cool. And if we come, like, combo him with Nidoking, King, then Nidoking King won't take the damage and we'll hit their whole squad. It's also something good to keep in mind. Oh, and there's a nice swimmer right there. Okay. Going up, rolling. They're gonna come all the way over here just to get beat down. After battle is battle. And you make no sense, sir. Okay. Ooh, you got oh he got off a mud shot. Uh-oh. Let's be careful about that. He went first and he got off a mud shot. We were sturdy in our resilience though. And we're just gonna keep on using this discharge. Oh man, all these guys are getting some attacks off first. We might have to get a, a, a Pokemon that can learn Trick Room. Ooh, this is really cool looking. Ryan's a hard hitting move. It's not going to hit as hard as our Discharge, though. 
<laughs> feeling old. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh at him for that, but that's what happens when you want to go into the world of Pokemon training. You might come across some real boss trainers. And I think we've almost made it to Pallet Town. Not so fast, trainer. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, another Sutra. Okay. Just gonna keep throwing out the uh, Discharge. Take him down before he pumps all the way up. Ooh, and a Tentacruel. Cool. I'm not sure if we can one-shot him. I know they are pretty sturdy as a, a defensive Pokemon. That's good to know. Poison Jab doesn't affect us. Oh yeah, Metal, I guess. The Poison doesn't affect Metal. Okay, thanks for the battle. No, oh, thank you for the experience. Got uh, two of our guys up to level 44 on this little route. So this worked out. Oh no, we're almost there. Okay, let's get out of the water. We've been swimming for long enough. Cool. There are a couple people over here, so they must be hunting for something decent. What's over here that we can... Um, uh, it's... Nothing special. I'd imagine maybe the Tangela? It's the only kind of new, interesting thing that I would uh, expect them to be searching for. We're going to try to ride through as much as we can. I don't know if we have a Tangela, though. I don't think we do. Oh, and speak of the devil. Okay. I think we're going to one-shot it with almost everything. So let's go with Venusaur. Let's try Cut. Let's see if he'll stay alive with Cut, and we'll try to capture this Tangela. Okay, 24, yeah. He'll stay alive with tank with the 24 damage. That's easy money. Oh, wow, the bind is... He's actually going to do some work against us. Okay, we got a big hit on, on that next cut. Let's go take down. Let's go ahead and try to catch this guy. And here comes out the first Pokeball. It... Oh, and Tangela shakes it off. What a magnificent evasion from Tangela. And coming back over to Drake Adams. Drake Adams, he's reached into his pouch. What is it going to be, folks? Ah, uh, yes. As one would expect, he goes out with another Pokeball. The Pokeball comes out. There's one shake. And Tangela shrugs it off again. This Tangela's looking quite ferocious indeed, everyone. And then moves on over to Drake Adams. Drake Adams, what does he have in store? Do we expect him to go for another Pokeball? Oh, and no, it's a great ball. Look at that fabulous blue. We have two shakes now on the Tangela. Tangela is fighting for his life. Oh, and Tangela is captured. What a stunning defeat. Nice. There we go. We got him. Okay. Uh, oh, we're going to have to swim again. You got to be kidding me, ref. Tangela, we already caught you. Get out of here. Ooh. Ooh, a berry. Oh, there's loads of Tinglas here. That was a lot stronger, I think, than the one that we caught. Rostberry. Rost. We got two of them. Man, this is Tangela Thicket right here. This is definitely a Tangela Thicket. Uh, okay, well, we can put Murkrow. Actually, Murkrow would actually do well against those Tinglas, right? Almost made it to Palatown. That could be a place for Murkrow to get a little level up. Oh no, it's still water? Okay, well we're already here. Let's go ahead, we'll just do a faint attack. It's just solid damage. Poisoned us. Oh, his body poisoned us. Whoa, okay. So we can't fly, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and do another faint and hope we get a, a critical hit. Nice. I think we're going to have to sub out because we're taking low the damage. Oh, no, actually, we're, we're going to go ahead and get this dark attack on the stun. There we go. Perfect. Good job, Murkrow. Nice. That went up half of the stuff. Okay, so it's poisoned. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm curious how much experience we would get for killing one of the uh, Tangalas. Okay. We aren't going to use Fly since we are taking uh, poison damage. We don't want that tick to happen. Let's see how much is it? 300? Okay, 
not crazy. We're probably better off uh, fighting on gyms and stuff. Nice. Uh, something is behind that stone. Nice. What is it? Oh, potion? Oh, that was like the first one we probably could have looked at. Okay, here we are. People just hanging out. Kind of cool. Anything here? Anything cool to fish for? Not basically everything that we've seen. Oh, there's Auntie. Would you like to listen to it? Nope. We're good. Let's go visit our mom since we're back in, in town. It's been forever since we've been here in Pallet Town. There she is, Mother. Drake Autumn, you should take a quick rest. Thanks. Oh good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Oh shit, there's no new words from her. Uh, maybe after we complete the whole task and, you know, beat the Elite Four, then she'll have something new to say. Cool. Alright. So now we gotta make it on up to... Oh, actually, at this point, we'll just go ahead and fly. We'll, we'll avoid a couple uh, needless battles here. Oh my god, that was a slow turn. Yeah, but yeah, we didn't want to do all that. That would not have been fun. Hmm. Dun, dun. Anything cool here? No standard stuff. I wonder if there's any... Ooh, yeah. I was going to say, are there, are there any things that we can get to now that we couldn't get to before? Let's cut. Oh, and there's a trainer. Go ahead and put Murkrow here. Wow, I must have been sleeping. I've had a nightmare about my dream getting eaten. Oh, is she going to teach us Dream Eater? And I learned how to eat dreams. I'll teach you to one of your Pokemon if you want to get rid of it, Dream Eater. No, thank you. Too much setup. You have to put them to sleep and then eat their dream. Maybe if uh, Snorlax is like big in the meta, then you can have that just to kind of mess them up. But for now, not really all that necessary. And, okay, we're at the mart. So where is this gym that we missed? It's gonna be up here. Oh, it's over here. Maybe we did try to go to it and they stopped us. I can't remember, though. It's been so long since we're up here. Raiden City Gym. Okay. What's going in? I don't know if we have the right squad. Oh, what do we get? Reach player level 60. Okay, cool, we leveled up. Uh, I don't know if we have the right squad, but we'll see what happens. This will be the toughest of all gyms. The trainers here focus on ground-type Pokemon. Okay, ground-type, okay. That means Venusaur is going to be good. Murkrow's good, because he can't be hit. Uh, Gengar is not going to be good. So we got to get Gengar out of here. I mean, Venusaur, I mean, he might get hurt for some decent damage, uh, but he'll also be able to dish out some decent damage. So we're going to swap out Gengar, I guess, for either, I guess, Alakazam. You know, we're taking out one super strong glass cannon. Well, super strong attacking glass cannon for another super strong attacking glass cannon. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to do that, but I think that's fine because we had that daily anyways. And I guess it didn't matter because no one had needed to be healed up. Uh, let's see, where's our squad? Here's Alakazam, so we'll switch out Gengar for you. That makes sense. Cool. And who else are some of our big guys? Nidoking, King, right? Muck. Yes, yeah, Nidoking's King's down there at 36. So, we may have to bring him back in at some point. But for now, this is our squad. We don't have any fire people. So... We may have to try to get Flamethrower and teach you to someone. Um, well, hopefully that doesn't hurt us that we don't have a fire Pokemon. I mean, we technically have Murkrow who can deal damage to grass. And then we have Magnezone. Who, there he is. I was going to say, wait, Magnezone, where are you? Magnezone, as Steel-type, um, can do damage uh, to ice. So I think that's like the main stuff for fire, right? Oh, and I, and I guess they're good against bug. Yeah, I don't know if we really have anything against bug. Okay. Well, here we go. I guess we're going this way. 
Oh cool, one of these sort of gems. Okay, so ground type Pokemon. Hopefully they won't be able to hurt Murkrow. All the cities, all the battles, are you still hungry for more? Starve. Okay. Ooh, Rhyhorn. Okay. Start off with the uh, just our standard faint attack, engage from there. So level 43 to start off with. Yeah, unaffected. Let's go ahead and do fly now. Let's be a fly boy. Rock blast. Ooh, that actually could hurt us. Right? Oh, and our attack missed. Oh, okay, no, no. Oh, their attack missed. I was like, wait, wait a minute, what happened? Okay, not very effective. Okay, drill run. So they might one shot us with that rock blast. Let's sub out. Let's bring in Gyarados. I mean, Gyarados, I guess, likewise, will get hurt because <laughs> he's flying. Um, ooh, actually, just think of it. Magneton. Okay, but at least he's a bit... Oh, he's doing it. But we can scald him and, and, and get the kill. Mag Magneton's also going to be weak to this area, so we, we could want to sub him out, too. But uh, we'll see what we, we, we can do for now. You know your trades. You know it. Like a poet. Okay. Ah. Black Belt Takashi. The last gym leader is waiting for you. Are you ready? Well, one would hope. Ooh, okay, Machoke. Okay, this is perfect. It's not really flying type, but okay. Let's go ahead and fly up. Could do more damage than the wing attack. Submission misses. Now let's land this fly hit. Here comes Fly, super effective. Wow, 108, perfect. And knocked over Machoke. Now Machop. Okay, wing attack. I don't think it's gonna do a one shot, but ooh, okay, oh, nice, nice. Okay, I guess it will. This is where Murkrow can shine. Let's go ahead with another wing attack. Let's make them prove that they can withstand it. Nice, yeah, a little stronger. Okay, darn. Man, okay. Yep, that's what happens when we don't uh, do one shots on these guys. Alright. Much better than I expected. Likewise, you guys must be up. So we're gonna do that. Oh, okay, that's where we can go here. Man, Marco took unnecessary damage. Are your Pokemon happy? They're ecstatic. Okay? Don't worry about how I raise my Pokemon. How dare you? How dare you worry about how I raise my Pokemon? Okay, three swipes. We might have to... Whoa, we're taking hits. We're taking hits. That's six. Whoa, oh, five. I was like, what? Oh, he survived with three. Okay, Gyarados, you're up. Come out here and do your thizzle. Here comes a dig. So we want to hit second, but we'll see if uh, which attack goes first. Of course ours goes first. Here comes Dig. So we both missed, that's fine. I'm going to follow up with another Scald. I should take him down. Who's up next? Does he have a bunch of uh, Sand Slashes? Okay, makes sense. Now we could try to swap in a Venusaur. But the ground attack would hit us. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going with the uh, Gyarados here. Nidorino. Okay, a poison type. Uh, let's try to hit him with the Ice Fang. <laughs> Use Flatter. Uh oh, oh, we're confused. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna deal with that. Uh, in comes Alakazam. Alakazam, I tag you in. I tag you in. Okay, Taco Spikes go down. Luckily, we were able to sub in before that happened. So let's go ahead and finish him off there. Okay, we think our I think our squad's balanced pretty good right now. Ooh, and a big old King. That's fine though. We got Psychic. We should be fine. Ooh, look at that, that one. Went, that one went down quick. See you, Nido King. Cool team. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks. Very, very kind of you to say. 
Okay, Murkrow's taking the beating. Let's go ahead and heal up. Medicine. Do we have... We have Lemonade. What does that do? Okay. That should be good for now. Do we have any fresh water? I think we might have used up all of our fresh water, huh? Okay. Okay, this just takes... Okay, so we just finished out that area. Oh, whoa, here's three trainers right here? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not mad at that. I'm, mad at, I'm happy for all this experience. All the trainers you've beaten, all the badges you have, do you deserve them? Wow, this guy's talking... He's, he's talking smack on us, huh? Talking a bit of Masa. Oh, you talking Masa, Holmes? Alright, well, we'll see what we got for you. Don't you worry about that. We got something for you. Now, since we're actually going to take damage from his ground attacks... Oh, no! This is where we need Giga Drain. Okay, hopefully... Of course, Argo's first. It's <sighs> a 40 hit. Okay, Energy Ball. Hopefully, he doesn't get Dig Off again. Okay, good. There we go. I think we're going to go ahead... Oh, okay. At least he won't Dig on us. And we should be even faster than him. Oh, uh, but yes, he has a sturdy. Let's not forget about that. Okay, Stealth Rock. We're not too worried about Stealth Rock. Let's go ahead and hit with the cut. We don't want that uh, Razor Leaf to miss. Okay. This is looking good. Next up is Onyx. So we can expect him to also have sturdy. And Rock Slide. All right. Venusaur took that a little better than our flying types would have. Okay, so down goes Onyx. What's up next? Graveler again. Okay, we're actually gonna go with the uh, Razor Leaf since the Sturdy is gonna keep him alive anyways. Uh, we don't need to one shot. And here's another Rock. Oh, uh, imagine if we could be doing Giga Drain. Oh gosh. Oh no. What is going on here? Okay. Come on, Every, everyone's hitting five times in this gym. These guys are hitting five times, guaranteed. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and bounce back with our good pal, Gyarados. One of our original Pokemon, too, from way back in the day. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's floating rocks, whatever, and he's weak more because he's flying type. Let's go ahead and surf on him. Surf's up, dudes. Surf's up, bruh. <laughs> Respect. Cool. And what's, uh, where's our lemonade? Do we have... Do we have soda as well? No, we're just... Actually, we can use super potions. Lemonade's better than the super potions, so we'll save those. I think it is, right? What does this do? 60? How much does Lemonade do? I think 70. Okay, good. Okay, so Super Potion. Anyone else need it? Gyarados needs it. And... Alright. Oh, we got Moo Moo Milk as well. Yeah, we can go ahead and use Lemonade. Why not? It might as well. Drink up. Okay. So, Black Belt. This is probably going to be more Machops and Machokes. Maybe even now I'm a champ? You never know. But either way, Murkrow will definitely have a good time. Yes, perfect. Oh, it's only one, and it's a Machoke. Let's go ahead and fly to get, a, to get the heck out of dodge. Because last time when they landed uh, attacks, yeah, they really put the beat down on us. Come on, fly. Come on, fly. There we go. Good stuff. Keep him fully healed. Look, that's what we want to see. You are in perfect harmony. And Tamer. If it's Tamer, it might be something like a uh, Fire-type Pokemon, right? All the routes you've been through to get here. All the Pokemon you've countered. How many did you catch? Oh, we caught a lot. Oh, we caught a lot. Okay, here's an Arbok, but we're okay with that. We're going to go ahead and use our uh, di Dark Attack here. And he swallowed. Is that like a one-shot kill? Faint should get the kill. Okay, perfect. Ooh, 
Tartos. Okay. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and swap in our Snorlax here. Get a normal type on versus normal type. Okay. You hit us with the payback. We're going to follow up with a, a Brick Break. Nice strong hit. And let's go ahead and follow up with, with another Brick Break. Uh, oh, he has rest. Interesting. We're we actually going to kill him with these uh, two Brick Breaks, though. So you aren't going to be able to outheal our damage. We have a fighting move. You are a really good trainer. These people are really nice. First they come in talking all this smack, right? They, just, they, they are, they're like coming in hot. And then once we handle them real right quick, then they want to be all polite and stuff. I mean, we play games? Okay, whoops. <laughs> but we don't play those games. Huh. So how do we do this? He's probably going to walk away. When a trainer asks for a fight, you have to fight. <laughs> yep, dems the rules. Dems the rules. Once again, we're just like we're just gonna fly. We don't want to risk uh, taking damage when we we'll have to. Murkrow isn't the sturdiest of Pokemon, at least in his unevolved form. Let's go ahead and get another fly. This is a good gym for him. I'm glad that we put him in the party. Oh wait, what happened? But he, what, he could still hit us there? Whoa. That might be one of those that never misses type of attacks. That's crazy. Your skills are awesome. Okay, so how do we get there then? Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. And <laughs> this guy is a cool, cool trainer. What's up, bruh? The last gym in Kanto, the last badge awaits you. Bring it on. Bring it on, bruh. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of moms. Okay. You're gonna get out of here. I think we're gonna go with Venusaur for now. We have Gyarados so we can fall back to two. They, they have a lot of rock attacks, so I'm a little worried about putting Gyarados out there. Let's, let's try to see what the Razor Leaf can do as far as... Yeah. Didn't think it was going to kill him. But if it lands again, then we'll be looking good. Swagger. So one Marowak down. Here comes another Marowak. Let's see how many gyro balls. We have six. Let's go ahead and let's do one and see if uh, it's a one shot. Okay, it is. I feel like we want to save some of our gyro balls. Or, no, I'm sorry. Not, not gyro ball, energy balls. But at the same time, we don't want to take too much damage. But this is going to get a one shot even without the energy ball, so. We hope that they keep putting them up. Nidorina. Okay. Really liking our synergy right now. We got good synergy. Helping hand. That's nothing. We weren't doing anything with that one. Uh, let's see. Psybeam 60. Oh, yeah. Slice Shock is better, even though it's physical attack. We might get poisoned. But no, I guess we're good. Okay, cool. And here's a Nidoking. King. Let's go ahead and do another Psy Shock. We're going to risk getting poisoned. It looks like we're okay. Okay, ooh, Venusaur is trying to learn Synthesis. The user restores its own HP. The amount of HP gains vary with the, with the weather. Oh, okay. I mean, if we didn't have Cut here, then we would do that. Let's see. Can we learn? Ah, oh, it won't let us. Okay. Do not learn this move. That wouldn't have been that bad, but yeah. We had that pesky TM there. Hurting us. Okay. So Murkrow's done very well. I think this is the last. Oh, we already fought him too, huh? Okay. Okay. So, I don't know how many more fights are in there. So we're going to go ahead and heal up. Oh. Uh, and now... Whoa, 100 Poke Gold. Cool, so we got 120 Poke Gold right there. All right, so let's go ahead and heal up uh, our pal Murkrow, because he's actually been putting in some work. He be putting in work. He be putting in work, okay. 
And these guys are a little damaged, but I think they're going to be okay. Oh, and here we go. Oh, and there's more? There's more? How many more? Holy smokes. Okay. Okay. You know what? I think we are going to go ahead and end the episode there and pick it up and do part two of the Viridian City Gym. Um, yeah, I know. It's kind of been a longer episode, and I don't want to rush through these fights here just because of time. So we're moving smoothly. Our guys are getting nice levels, and uh, I guess next time we will kind of deal with this last final room. Let's say it's got an interesting, cool puzzle element too, so hopefully I don't make a fool of myself. Until next time, as always, I've been Dre Goddams, and you guys have been great. See you next time.